new program takes Baltimore students to the stars without leaving the ground. Yeah, today more than 200 students met astronauts, engineers, roboticists, I didn't even know that was a word, <laughs> and a lot of other experts. It's so students from underserved communities can get some education in STEM related fields. Students spent the day in workshops and career panels with people like former NASA astronaut Don Thomas. His lesson to them, never give up. It took me four times applying to NASA to get into the astronaut program. I got turned down, got turned down, got turned down, and then the fourth time I made it. So I tell the students, whatever you want to do in life, you know, you'll get uh, rejected. You're going to get turned down. You're going to fail along the way. Don't let that stop you. Students also looked inside the human body. One eighth grader wants to become a medical researcher focusing on blood diseases. Blood disease are kind of those things where there's a positive and a negative side to it. So from my research, I learned that sickle cell anemia is actually an advance for a control of malaria, malaria, so mosquito disease. But actually, it's bad for them because it like affects the livers, the kidneys, you know, all of those things. Alexa is awesome. Yeah, we're not roboticists or doctors. Well, she's also a part of the University of Baltimore Care Scholars Program, which prepares middle and high school students for healthcare careers. She says her next goal is to do sickle cell research, and she used today's events to get tips from scientists.